Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Crane Zone. I want to let you know that this Saturday is the third annual community block party hosted by the Revolution Church, a church I go to. So come on down and have some family fun. Now that that's out of the way, my first guest of Season 2 is a former XCW um, international champion. And he's been on the show before. Give it up for Mikado Black. Mikado, what's going on, man? How you been? Hey, I'm doing all right, brother. How you been yourself, bro? Well, you know, considering it's still 80 degrees here in Florida, I'm doing great. Look at you, man. Look at you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so what's up, man? How you been? Uh, I've been all right, bro. I've been, I've been here and there, you know, traveling up and down, you know, around the East Coast. I've been, you know, mostly I've been up in the Ocean State, Rhode Island, other than that, I mean, I, I just living the life at home, you know, taking, you know, taking some time off. Yeah, yeah. I read, uh, I read somewhere that uh, you suffered a knee injury. That is correct. Uh, this was a promotion up in Rhode Island. It was actually a tryout. Uh, what happened was I was in the ring, you know, doing, you know, getting off, you know, some kind of, you know, just showing them a little more of what I can do in the ring so they can get a taste and they'll see how you want to use me or something like that. I wish you a speedy recovery. Um, knee injuries can be very uh, harmless to your career, mm-hmm. and uh, we definitely want it, want you to get well soon, man. Thank you very much, John. I appreciate that. Um, I, I see that uh, in your last match, um, you, I don't know, the fans have taken a liking to you. Um, how has that changed the way you've worked in the ring? Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it right out. I mean, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a big guy about popularity. I mean, I, I can care less about popularity. My main focus is, you know, to do what I do in that ring. You know, it's, you know, whatever it is that I do in that ring, I consider it the best I've ever done. And at the last show, I, it seems to me like I wasn't the only one that realized that, you know, that was that my best performance of all time. You know, and, and let me say that, uh, those fans who did start Mercado chants around the, uh, the Black Rock Bear Center, I appreciate that, appreciate the support, and I'm going to tell you now, I am Mercado Black, I will continue being Mercado Black, I'm going to do what I do, and whether the fans like it or not, I mean, it, it's not going to change, I'm going to be a powerhouse, I'm going to be de- determined to do what I do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to chase back after my dreams of becoming the world champion, whether it be for any company, whether it be for XCW. I'm, I'm going to chase that dream, and, and, and I will fulfill my destiny. And, and you know, the support from the fans is what's going to help me do it. I will, I will uh, acknowledge them, no matter where I go. So that's pretty much all I got to say about that. That's good. Um, has um, being, you know, uh, now um, popular or a fan favorite, as they call it, um, helped or hurt your career? What do you think? Uh, to be honest with you, pretty much there won't be any damage done, nor will there be any progress done. Like I said, it's strictly me, what I do in that ring. It's either the fans are going to love me or they're going to hate me. Mm-hmm. But, you know, regardless of the fact, I have the power to make them love me and I have the power to make them hate me. As of right now, my my focus, my, uh, my purpose is not to make them love me or hate me. My purpose is to earn respect from, you know, the company itself, uh, the guys at the back, and thus far the fans as well. That's what my purpose is. I'm not here to, you know, like I said, I'm not here for popularity. I'm not here to make anyone like me or make anyone love me, make anyone hate me. My purpose is to do what I do in that ring. And you're either going to love what I do or you're going to hate what I do. Mm-hmm. The fact of the matter is, what I do in that ring is, is it's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice for uh, myself, for my well-being, for, you know, it can be for someone else's well-being. You know, as long as I'm, as long as my career picks up from wherever it is I left off and the fans support me for what I've done for the past year in XCW, it's, that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. So, uh, as far as for damage or progress, I don't see anything going wrong with the support from the fans. So, either way, um, 
it's not like, you know, it's whether, it's not whether they love you or hate you, it's as long as they respect you. That's pretty much what it's all about, man. This business is a cutthroat business. Uh, you know, sacrifices are made, you know, from from every corner of the ring. And I'm going to tell you now, every corner of the ring is going to have a load of fans watching. And, and you know, your purpose is to, to earn respect from each corner of that ring. And, you know, that's, that's pretty much what this business is all about. It's about respect. Mm -hmm. Do you think... Um do you think you've gained the respect of the fans? I think I've gained the respect from the fans, and, and you know, it's an honor to, to, to finally earn it. I mean, like I said, my purpose wasn't to go out there and steal it from them. Uh, you know, I've had my moments where I've made a couple bad decisions. Uh, those decisions, I just want to let everybody know, you know, the, the time where I did join the Empire, which was probably the worst decision I've ever made, I made that decision because, you know, the sacrifices that I made early in the ring before that time, I felt I wasn't getting enough recognition for it. And I figured being a part of the Empire, in which was the most dominant force at the time, I figured joining the Empire would gain me all the respect that I deserved. And, you know, in this business, you know, things don't happen the way you want them to happen. Things happen the way fate chooses them to happen for you. And, you know, my fate at the time was, was to join the Empire thinking I would get respect, and it, 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 it did nothing but damage me, I'll tell you that right there, it did nothing but damage me, and, and it's, there's a big change going on in, in the professional wrestling world, and you know, there's a big change going on in, in, in the era of Mercado Black, and I'm going to tell you now, uh, fans' respect and their support, I, I appreciate it very well, and and it won't be forgotten, I'll tell you that, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick off 2011 with a strong, strong uh, way and a strong devotion to the fans, that's for sure. So, um, now that you've been to different promotions, um, to date, who's been your toughest opponent? Who has, my, who has been my toughest opponent? Yeah, who's been your toughest opponent? Uh, very, very tough decision. I've had many, many tough opponents. I mean, I've had Ivan Caliber, who's, who's, uh, who's done his thing in and out of the ring. He's tough wherever he goes. Uh, he is fearless. Uh, I've had, of course, uh, Justin Sky, but I'm going to go with a man who I feel will be the toughest opponent of my career. I am a very, you know, I'm very, you know, distant from the past. Therefore, whoever my opponents were in the past, they're in the past. I've had tough opponents everywhere I've gone, and you know, the one that means most to me right now that I'm looking forward to. Is Dan the Man. The reason why is because Dan the Man did something to me in which I'll never forget. And to know that after that did happen to me, I had to sit home, pondering back and forth, loathing at the fact that I can't get my hands on him. And I'm going to tell you now, he will be the toughest opponent of my career. And, you know, I'm going to tell you this the fight is on, bro. The fight is on. Makata, we wish you well in 2011 and with your recovery of your knee injury and I want to thank you for your time man thank you for being on the crane zone and then you're welcome and I'll, I'll definitely I hope to see you again on the crane sometime in the near future and uh, good luck to the crane zone I see it's doing well and, and as for those fans out there who support me and Mercado Black remember you know the time is now my time uh, I am Mercado Black and this is my house thanks man